This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven and a half hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It's no one's truth but yours. That's a trippy card, man. Magnifies, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 152, NASDAQ up 54, S&P's up 6, gold contract up 13.60, trading 18.43 an ounce. Silver up 14 cents, 24 dollars, 22 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 46 cents, 45 dollars, 74 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You have the 10 year right now up eight ticks, trading 137.22. The 30 year up 24 ticks at 172.29 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 393 ticks, trading 97.26. The euro is at 121. The yen is out here trading at uh, 103.95, and the British pound is at 134 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look. And what do you have? You get a higher high. You get a contraction of volume. You get a sideways move. Bottom line, we'll see where this is going to shake out. You get very small price spread out here. So... The price spread, let's start with the price spread first. The price spread out here today is tiny. You get the lows 366.39, the highs 367.99. Bottom line, that being said, your last high that was generated out here was the 367.68. You know, you beat that out here today by uh, 30 cents, and uh, we'll see where, where it's going to close out. Uh, a 367.68. Uh, under that is going to be a failure on price and volume. I know that's uh, subtle, folks, uh, and you say, okay, oh, the, we're at highs, but bottom line, that would be considered a failure on price and volume. We're not going to get even near the volume, and the volume that we got that day, by the way, on Tuesday was anemic as it was, was 74 million, and right now you're at 28 million. <laughs> so we'll do like 38 million. It's pretty wild. Um, you have no buyers, but you have no sellers. That's, that's how this works. But when you close, when you get above a high, you close under the high, you get a contraction of volume. That's what it is, a failure on price and volume. NDX 100, three Qs, same type of setup. Uh, the high that was generated out here on Tuesday, uh, we did uh, 305.14. We're at, uh, we got the 305.88. You did uh, 27 million shares out here. We're at 14 million. We're, we're going to do maybe 16, maybe 18 million. Uh, I don't think you're going to basically get back up to those higher highs, uh, the, of meaning of that uh, 305.88. You know, the 305.14 is going to be the number you want to keep an eye on. Now, the high that we had taken out on Tuesday was the 30350, and I don't see us getting down there either. You know, what we had out here all day is just a sideways day. Um, when you get a sideways day, we're already into Thursday. Friday, you can get another sideways day. Let's go take a look at the gold market out here. We have uh, and inside the gold market is that you have a higher high. Uh, bottom line, we had a low today of 1826, the high of 1843. This thing is making its way up into the, I suspect the first place you're going to get any flack, folks, is the 1884 level. Uh, that's how that's kind of set up. Uh, we'll get into that level. You, you, we'll continue with uh, some decent volume. Not, ex not spectacular volume, but pretty good volume. 173 right now. We take a look at the silver market. S-I-H. We're on the H inside the silver market also. Now, silver has been telling us for some time that gold's going to get higher. Uh, silver is ready to launch. Silver looks to me can go to 30 bucks like in about a heartbeat because that's how silver likes to run. Uh, we take a look at it on the way down. Uh, silver didn't get croaked as well as gold uh, had. And when we take a look at this right now, you're going to see that we're approaching the downtrend uh, that is out there since August. Uh, and that number, that break would be 2507. We hit 2442. You break 2507, you're going to be up to that $30 in about a heartbeat.
Notes and bonds. Now, take a look at them, man. These are the Ever Ready Buddies. And as I said yesterday, what it seems to, to happen, folks, is that you have the aspect that when we have rollover inside the bond market, yeah, the last two rollovers, the bonds get toasted, roasted very fast. No two ways about that. That being said, guess what? They don't give it up, man. They're right back. Uh, the 10 year just, well, first off, the 10 year didn't even make it to the high of the low that was generated out here on the, was it the 11th of November? Uh, the 9th was the big monster day on the way down. Uh, that is saying that they're going to higher price. And good old King Dollar. King Dollar is on an ABC structure on the way down. Uh, and it looks to me that uh, it's a straight line move, man. The bottom line is that uh, it took from, you know, if we go back to March, the King Dollar was at 99. Uh, first leg down, we were going sideways from July. From July, I was trying to break this bottom, folks, and it only had a 0.23 retracement of the whole move. You do only a 0.23 retracement of the whole move, you are toasted and roasted. And this baby um, is going south and going south in a very fast way. Now, it was the euro that first took off, okay? The euro basically broke topside, continued higher. The pound, we take a look at the pound, uh, the pound right now, there she is, Okay, so the pound right now is at 134. This baby also, bottom line, is ready to take off. The pound, once it breaks this 134.82, uh, you are going topside in a big way. And what we got out here today is the yen. What you're going to see out here tonight, folks, this is, if you're in the gold market, hold on for the ride because the yen has given it up on price out here today. And when the yen gives it up on price, let me tell you something, man. The Nikkei is going to open up. The Nikkei is going to go south. Gold is going to go north. The, the yen just went from the 104.54 at level to 103.95. And when you see this, when the uh, Nikkei is not opened, uh, bottom line, it's a much faster acceleration when it does get open. And that will be open in approximately uh, five hours. Dow, Dow Industrials up 184, Nasdaq up 67, S&P's up 11 and a half. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Larry Pezzavento. Larry's going to be doing a great live trading workshop for everyone next Wednesday. Come right back.